Hey guys, and welcome back to Skies of Arcadia. When we last left off, we had just made it to the Shrine in the Sky. So let's keep exploring, because there was... a moonfish up there, and I believe we're going to have to get into this building uh, before we can get it or something. The doors are... Some <laughs> I, I guess maybe uh, not then. Well... So how, pray tell, do we get it? Um, there has to be somewhere around here. Uh, unless it's just a simple case of standing up here, but I don't, can't be that. Okay, I guess it is that simple. All right. Seems to be a little bit too far away, to be honest. But hey, what do I know? I'll definitely have another moonfish. So, done and done. Let's go. Let's go confront the Armada, I suppose. Uh, I don't think there's anything else here to find. I think uh, we're. Uh, this is kind of like a one and done area. Playing this with my new glasses as well, and it's um, strange. I haven't been able to see out both lenses of my glasses for years. I guess I just kind of got used to it. This is our headquarters where our leader, Lord Diego, resides. When preparing for battles, Lord Diego gathers all of the uh, Tenkao here. Just a little while ago, Lord Diego issued an order for all the Tenkao to assemble. It smells like war. Yes. Yes. War. Hey right there, buddy. You look like you're um, not doing so well. <laughs> a battle. We haven't had a decent fight in a long time. The Amada? I don't know who they think they are. They learn not to underestimate and um, maybe underestimate us. Yeah, well, we scalped quite a few of you coming up here, so just saying. Okay. There's a weird sound effect there, but that was just I think that was just the music. I hope that was just the music. Anywho. <sighs> Right. Ah, who do we have here? A bird man by the look of things. We, the Tenkao, are citizens of Yafutoma. No matter how long you live away from it, you never forget your love for your country. So we consider Kangan's treason to be very a very serious matter. I know you're not even from Yafutoma, but please, we need your help. Yeah, dude, I've already said I'll, I'll help. And we've got another little chicken there. Excellent. Bro, big and strong. We could use the meat. Sky meat. Yes. Now, we actually get quite a chunky upgrade for our ship from uh, this area, I do believe. Um, we get the ability to go above the clouds. I can't remember if we can go below the clouds yet. Ah, uh, sure. We'll give the game a save. Why the devil not? There we go. Set out to do battle against the Armada. Well, seems to be the right thing to do. Hey, you can't expect to fight in that ship. Come ride with me on my ship. Ooh. Now that's the ship. All ships, prepare for battle. We must take back Yafutoma. Well, we kind of need our ship. They have quite a fleet. Which is good. Our scouts have reported that the Armada and the Yafutoma fleets are patrolling uh, Kazai Lake. Vase, your ship is also patrolling with the Armada. Now it's personal. <laughs> I understand your frustration. If we can get your ship back, we can win this battle. The Tenkao will attack the Armada from the front and keep them distracted. While they're keeping the Armada busy, I want you to get the Delphinus back. With the Delphinus, without the Delphinus, we don't stand a chance. How does he know about my ship? Sounds like a plan. 
All right, men, get ready. Let's show them what the Tenkao can do. Wouldn't it make sense? Now, I'm no master tactician, but if they can fly above the enemy ships due to superior technology, doesn't it make sense to pound them from above? Uh, what do I know? But what we do know is they have our ship. That's seriously bad news. Ooh, Vigoro. Vigorio. <laughs> Looks like our pirate friends want some action. Things just got a little bit more interesting. I'm coming for you, Red. Soon you'll all be mine. Yeah, doesn't that sound a little um, <clears throat> forceful, should we say? That would definitely uh, not be uh, present in a remake. <laughs> the western ship is nice, very nice. I think I'm going to enjoy this. Don't worry, we're going to skin you. But I never dreamed that I'd be able to kill Prince Di Daigo so soon. Now, Mogi will be mine for sure, as well as the throne. You snivelling little runt, you'll be going over the side after we've scalped you. I'm sorry, handsome. I didn't want to have to fight you. But for Valua and Lord uh, Galcian, I must. You'll be scalped and hung off the side as well. Ten cow ships, straight ahead. They're in range of our cannons! Alright, everybody, listen up. This is it. If we win this battle, we'll rule the east. Let them feel the power of the Valua and Armada. Fire at will! Oh, I don't think so. Let's use incendiary ammo. Burn them alive. Oof, this is cool. Yeah, that's a big cannon. So far, the battle is even. We're more maneuverable, but we can't seem to break their lines. Vase, keep an eye out for your ship. It's got to be around here somewhere. Alright, everyone, be ready for action. When we find the Delphinus, let's take it back. Air pirate style. Sounds like a plan. With that idiot piloting it. Shouldn't be that hard. How fares the battle? My lord, the Tenka are swarming all around the Valuans, but the Armada is holding their position. We seem to be at a stalemate. Yeah, yeah, I see. Very well. It's time for us to join the battle and end this, once and for all. Scum. Hmm, we can't break their lines and our ships are taking serious damage. I don't think we can take much more of this. I'm going to have to give the signal to retreat. Today, value is won. My lord, a ship fitting the description of Captain Visor's ship is heading our way. What? Are you sure? Yes, my lord. I'm positive. It's the Delphinus. Dago, if you can just get us close to the Delphinus, we can take it back and win this thing. We're air pirates, remember? We do this stuff all the time. All you have to do is get us close. <laughs> I see. Okay, Vase, you got it. Let's go get our damn ship back. Really? This idiot just allowed us to... Okay. We're going to have to jump to the deck. <laughs> Huh? Hey, what? It's fine. You know, we'll either make it or we won't. <laughs> it's okay. I got you, Fina. Uh, I'll, I'll be right behind you. Come on, Ika. <laughs> Gotta love Ika. She's so cool. I guess they were expecting us. Let's throw these goons off our ship. Let's do it. Scalp the lot of them. Throw the corpses off the side. Now, what are these guys? Ah, oh, they're just standard grunt soldiers. That's fine. Counter stance. That's a little bit problematic, maybe. Nah, nothing to worry about. Stupid bastard's gone to sleep as well. Shouldn't be too difficult to take this ship back. Just gotta work through these uh this chaff. Oh, critical hit. Ooh, that's not good. 
But it's okay. We can survive this. Right, so now let's go for Pirate's Wrath. Kill them all. I don't think you can counter this. Yes, oh nice, she put in sleep as well. Sweet. Right, come on, Vase. Love these battles. Uh, these cinematics, the spells, are so cool. Does Pyrus Wrath just hit one of them? Oh, it does. Oh, I did the wrong move. Ah, it doesn't matter. I should have done Reign of Swords. Getting a little bit too excited there for a minute. Too much bloodlust. Oof. Yeah, that's going to sting. Right, okay. Well, we can do Reign of S No, we can't. Ah, son of a... Well, that's okay. Just attack as normal. You can do a Mega Cyclone. Nope, that might be what we need. Hopefully, that will do enough damage. So, two of them left. <laughs> Literally just nukes them. I like it. Okay, not quite as effective as I was hoping, but eh, weakened them. Should be able to mop them up now. Oh, killed by Fina. Not to put Fina down or anything, but, uh, you know. Decent amount of XP for that, too. Nice. Damn, our ship has taken a bit of a beating. That's not good. Um, let's get everybody healed up. Right, good to go. Yeah, that's not great. We've got some rather nasty holes in the hull. Well, I'm sure it's fine. What's a little bit of damage? No Ooh, God. Yeah, we're definitely going to have to buff that out. I guess we can't go in there. Looks like uh, Miraji's locked this door. Whose ship does he think this is, anyway? Oh, great. Okay, well, it looks like we've got five enemies this time. Well, I guess there's not much to do, but everybody pile on. Hopefully we can get them. At least a couple of them. One of them, I guess, we'll have to do. Okay, now we can do uh, Reign of Swords. Which seems to be where we want to spend our points. Yeah, they're just playing with us. That's fine. They can play all they like. Yeah, Reign of Swords is definitely where it's at. Probably could have done it. Well, we could have done it again there, but there's no point. Okay. These guys are definitely worth fighting for that XP. Very nice. Right, let's get to the bridge. Wonder what happened to oh this Oh, it's just goons. Okay. That's fine. We can handle some goons. Yeah, I think these yeah, these guys are definitely weaker than the uh Eastern Guards. Yeah, they're a waste of time. Waste of time. Have some fury. A rain of swords, I should say. Nice. Yeah. Total wipe. That's what we're talking about. How oh, they still give us the same 
XP and gold though. Oh well. Right, now I'm guessing through here is a boss, so let's get healed. Guess we can use Sacras. Why not? Yeah, it's probably slightly more cost efficient to do that. And then what we could do is use magic droplets, I suppose. Top him off. Top Fina off. Yeah, that's fine. Very cost effective way of doing that. Not that we're pinching the pennies or anything, but, uh, you know. Meriji, we'll be taking our ship back now. Do, do you think I'm afraid of you? You aren't so tough. Why are you fools just standing there? Get them! You betray those that trust you and needlessly endanger the lives of innocent people. All for your own personal gain. For the honor of Prince... Oh, God, Mogi, and for the people of Yafutoma, I will strike you down. Face my blade, coward. <sighs> I get he's trying to be cool, but... <sighs> Dude. Dude. Right, so what have we got with this guy? I don't know, but let's start by working... Ah, actually. I'm guessing the... What we want to do first is buff up. So let's go for healing salves on everybody. Um, because why not, I guess. Yeah, they're just standard grunts, that's fine. Let's get some regen action going. I'm guessing we're going to be in for a somewhat long fight here. <sighs> yeah, that stings. Let's try this. That really stings. Might have been worth just using her move, actually. But I'm pretty sure these give us extra regen. It's only 50 extra per turn, but it all counts. Oof. Nasty. I mean, hopefully we can get some counters in. Ooh. Okay, that's not too bad, actually. Right. So, what we want to do next, I think we're going to go for some magic. Uh, and then we're going to spend that off everybody. Now, who doesn't uh, actually I'm gonna get you to use Delta Shield now Fina who doesn't have regen lift of might who doesn't have regen I know Vase doesn't have it all right and you We've only, we haven't got a huge amount of magic left. Ah, oh, we can't quite do quicker. That's unfortunate. Do we actually have a box that does that? Uh, uh, we actually don't. That's unfortunate. Oh well. You can just go for a normal attack then. And you attack the wounded person. Yeah, if he's going to use magic, then we're just going to block against his magic. Simple as. Oh, shit. That was stupid. Of course, we can't use Ingram, because her bloody magic uh, blocks... Ah, uh, arse. Yeah, of course. So it blocks us buffing our characters as well. And debuffs everything. That's a pain in the ass, actually. Oh, well. I think we're just going to go with... Yeah, he's going to buff himself. 
Hmm. Son of a bitch. That's really kind of annoying, actually. Well, uh, special move. Let's just kill all of his goons first. Let's get rid of his goons. And actually, oh, we can't. We're one short. All right, let's just go for a round of attack. Get rid of the goons. And then once we've got rid of the goons, then we can start buffing. Oh, I completely forgot that Delta Shield blocks you being able to buff your own people. It's kind of annoying, actually. <laughs> I mean, I guess there has to be some kind of downside to it, but oof, dude. That's pretty rough. Definitely want everybody to have Ingram. Yeah, we're going to have to debuff him too, but that's fine. We can do that. Just as long as he doesn't call his troops, well, more troops in. Oof, critical hit. Not too bad, though. Considering she's going to heal half of that damage. Right. Now, we're not using... Right, let's use that. It's expensive, but I think it's worth it. Then let's finish off the rest of these guys. And then everybody is buffed. Apart from... Healing Salve. Yeah, they still needs to be buffed. Okay. Uh, one second, guys. And we're back. Okay, so Mrs. has just come home. Right, uh, where were we? Oh, yeah, we were killing dudes. I think we're complete. No, we're not. Are we completely buff now? We are. Cool. All right, let's go. Right, let's finish this guy off. Let's get him completely and utterly done. Um, and I suppose, actually, if everybody's buff now and we don't need to do anything apart from kill these guys, we can go to using Delta Shield every turn. Because screw you, buddy. I mean, if he's going to continuously use spells on us, that's going to be a little bit of a problem. But that's okay. Right, now all of his goon squad's gone. We can focus on him. Oh, he's not that tough. And he's asleep now. Lel. Okay, this... Oh, right, cool allies. Really? Well, I guess he only called one in. Over there. So that's not too bad. I mean, it's bad enough, don't get me wrong, but... Could definitely be worse. Right, well, let's go for Pirate's Wrath on him. Everyone else, actually, you can carry on. Using that. Uh, can you debuff him? Uh, summons the storm to damage and remove any better. Oh, I guess so. We'll use that. Nice. Kill the soldier. That will work nicely. Now, 
Now this might kill him outright. I'm not sure. That'd be pretty badass if it does. Should at least do significant damage. Yeah, I killed him in one shot. Okay, I obviously greatly over-exaggerated how tough that guy was. I mean, I'm not sure why I thought he was going to be a big challenge. But there we are. So it does a little bit of damage, nothing too extreme. Everyone else just pile on. Counter stance. Yeah, I don't think that's going to help you, dude. Not a fan of that boomerang. Definitely not a fan of that boomerang. I guess we don't get a huge amount of XP for that. And it looks like Enrique is closing in levels. Three grand, I guess. Three grand's better than, you know, less than three grand. Um, I, no, um, how, just sit there and piss yourself, dude. I, I'll give you back your ship. Just spare my life. Please, let me live. You're too pitiful for me to run you through. I'll spare you, but you'll pay for all of your treachery. Throw him off. Right. All oh, right. We got the Delphinus back. Now let's even the odds. There's a ship coming from starboard side. It's coming fast. Ah, Vigoro. The Draco. There's something about it that disgusts me. <laughs> yeah. That ship, that's the Draco. That's Vigoro's ship. Talk about trying to compensate. That guy's got a complex. <laughs> the Armada is being led by Belza and Vigoro. If we can take out their ships, the rest of them will fall. Our next target, the Draco. Indeed. And that's a somewhat impressive looking ship. Hey Vase, my cannon's bigger than yours. <laughs> now feel the destructive power of my ship, the Draco. Yeah, thing is though, dude, we have a better ship all round. Higher quality. It's not the size, it's what you do with it, I'm afraid. Anyway, uh, that's going to have to wait for the next video, guys, because we're out of time. And I have a feeling... This next part's going to take some time, because I think, uh, from what I can remember, we've got three ship battles back to back. So, at least two anyway. So, anyway, I'm going to leave it there. Thank you very much for watching, and as always, till next time.